Hi, my name is Gunilla Rudande, working for Crayon. Here is some example of how to use SPSS statistics in healthcare. The case I will go through is reduced number of MRSA outbreaks in the hospital by predicting which patients are at highest risk of contracting the illness. Another case, reduce waiting times in the emergency department, and this will be done by forecasting the number of patients. Run clinical trials to find the best treatment, even if you have small sample sizes. Create a measurement instrument for a psychological feeling that is hard to measure, like stress, loneliness, satisfaction, and so on. So let's start with the first, the reduced number of outbreaks by predicting risk. So I wonder if this patient has a risk for this virus. And how could we get that answer? With statistics, you can use the historical information. And here we could find that the red group is the one with the disease. And I wonder what kind of characteristics these people has and how they differ from the rest that is more healthy. I get the information and I can use this information to find out if this patient has almost the same characteristics because then we can have a score, like 80% score, that tell us that this person has an 80% risk to get this virus. All these scorings is something that you can get. And the methods for that could be, for example, logistic regression or decision tree. Here's an example of decision tree. So what you get is automatically a tree from all your information you have about the patients, and this tree will explain for you the most important characteristics for the people who is more sick. Then the next example, to reduce the waiting time by allocating staff after forecasting. So how could we measure the forecasting? We can do it simple and just look at the pattern of number of visits over the past few weeks. And then the model tries to recreate this pattern and after that, you can predict what future number it will be. And this is time series analysis. Then we have the case run clinical trials. And then you can get help to find out the best medicine. So the test compared two groups of patients who has medicine A and medicine B. So which treatment is the one that works best to get these people healthy? Behind this, you find tests like T-test, non-parametric tests, or ANOVA if you have more than two medicines. Then we have the last case, and this is about to measure something that is difficult to measure, like feeling, satisfaction, and so on. And in my example, I would like to measure stress. So maybe you have 30 questions, and from these questions in a questionnaire, you will find out the groupings. So here are some examples of questions. I feel stress standing in a queue in a shop. I have a problem to fall asleep. I often wake up during the night. I feel stress when two things happen at the same time. I get frustrated if the bus train is going slow. My neck is often hurting. I have often headache and so on and so on. And what you can find out is through factory analysis, for example, which are grouped together. So, for example, maybe I have these groups. And when you know these groups, you can test them and then you can create index. And in my example, stress index. And that could be a good score to measuring something that is hard to measure, like stress. If you are a CSCS customer, you can find a lot from the platform. So you can download the software. You can watch the webinar I have sometimes, and also you can find recordings from old webinar. I have a blog site where I answer questions from users. We have support, training, and consulting. Thanks for taking the time to watch this.